Welcome back. I'm Che Gyun, and we start off with the top stories. So far, over 70,000 people have died from COVID-19 worldwide, and countries are striving to develop a treatment. Korean researchers have discovered that blood plasma from a recovered coronavirus patient can effectively treat those suffering from the disease. Kim Soo-yeon has recovered from COVID-19 after a month-long treatment. Kim is visiting the hospital again, but this time to donate blood plasma. Kim's plasma has since been used in treating other coronavirus patients in serious conditions. The plasma taken from a fully recovered patient contains antibodies against COVID-19. Doctors injected Kim's plasma to two seriously ill patients, a man in his 70s and a woman in her 60s. Both were in a critical state, struggling with acute respiratory distress syndrome, but after receiving the plasma treatment, they fully recovered. The medical staff said the effectiveness of the treatment should not be exaggerated, but it could be an alternative to some severe cases of infection. The issue at hand is securing plasma. Currently, there is no system of receiving and storing plasma donations. Competition is also heating up in the race to develop COVID-19 vaccines and medicine. Here, this freezer holds 1,500 drug substances researchers are examining day and night in the search for a cure. The Korea National Institute of Health has meanwhile announced it successfully produced a candidate vaccine material. Six cases of clinical testing for potential COVID-19 treatments are also underway after receiving government approval.